Hi, this is going to be a quick video on how to install Python on a Windows machine. The first thing we're going to do is come over to the website www.python.org. Down on the left, there's a link for download. You can either click there or you'll see a download now as well. But click on download, it'll take us to the download page. Now there are two versions of Python. Uh, most people are still sticking with the 2.7.3 just because there are a lot more libraries that go with that for now. So we're going to click on this 2.7.3 Windows installer because I'm running Windows. It's going to ask me if I want to save the file and yes. Now I use um, Firefox and so my downloads go to a file that, that folder that's called downloads and uh, yours may go to a different folder depending on what browser you use but when the file has finished downloading we're going to go to that location and we're going to run the file okay we can see that uh, the file has downloaded and now I'm going to run it so I'm going to double click on it do you want to run this file? run install for all users. We're going to use the defaults all the way through here. I'm going to use the default here as well. It's going to go right into my C drive which is a, a really a, a pretty efficient um, place to put it. Um, I already had Python on my machine and I had uninstalled it so I could lead you through this. So um, that last file little uh, message won't show up for you. But here are the defaults leave everything as it is, go to next I'm going to get that out of there it says please wait while the installer installs 2.7.3 this may take several minutes so just uh, wait and we'll see what happens when it's done now I did get a little pop-up message um, that asked if we could make changes to the the uh, computer and again if that happens just click yes and let it go ahead and run through its installation and looks like we're almost done here and there you go it's finished okay now that you've installed Python let's see where it's at go to your start menu all programs find Python and select Python command line okay that's going to open your command line window and you can type Python commands into that window if you want to very simple here's a valid print hello that's valid um, Python syntax so if I hit enter it prints hello just like I typed it okay now this is kind of cumbersome when you're trying to um, do a lot of commands or an, an entire module it's called um, so it's not really very efficient but you can do it there okay let's look at another option here Python now this time I want to start the idle that actually gives us something that um, is going to look similar to the command line it's got a little bit different look to it let me open it up here and I can do the same thing I can say print hi there and as long as the syntax is correct it'll run it in the Python interpreter now if I want to run something that's a little more um, involved then I would want to open a new window and what that does is it gives me a window and I'm gonna just kinda of put it over here so you can see them both at the same time that I can actually type some additional code in it okay here I've just put a very simple small program um, which is also called a module and if I want to run that it's gonna first if I just click run it's gonna want me to save it so okay yeah I'll save it so I'm going to save it as square.py oh, let's call it, let's call it square um, square value dot py, py. okay after I save it, it runs it, 
and I get the entire program here. So what happens is every time I want to um, do something that's a bit longer or compli more complicated, I'm going to want to open a separate window, put my code in there, and then I'm going to run it with this command. Alright, so what we might want to do, I'm going to just get out of all those. What, what is helpful is to go to the programs, the Python, and right click on idle, and let's pin it to our start menu. So that um, when I go to my start menu, I've got idle right there. So it's real easy to start. I can just click on it there, get it open, and it's ready to go. All right, so there you have it. Python is installed, and I've shown you how to uh, run the idle, which is um, the graphic way that we can type in a module or a small program and run it right, uh, right away.